Assalamu alaikum, it's Minu Basu. Astech Iga Wist Tanay Noashrin Shehir Khamsa, Wist Tanay Noashrin Namayu, Afenu Tanash. Hello, my name is Basu. Today is the 22nd of May, 2012, and I thought it would be interesting to try to say some Berber proverbs. Tabir in the Imazaran, Win Imazaran. Iwa Nikin, does dick a tadudu, takabilt a tadudu. The does dick a duar, yan duar amzan. Len yamkin takribin alfein alfein me the tsutalaf na banadim. Mashibzef. So I live in the in the tribe of a tadudu, and I live in a in a pretty small village. There's maybe two thousand or three thousand people that fikir a katlan takribin. Tzatmiya na Tadarwin, Tzatmiya na Tadart. I think there's about 300 houses. Ge Dwarinu, Yashbi at Saksaki Midden, Matalan at Saksakian Aryaz, Sint Yat Tabir, Ween, Ween Aitadidu. So in, in my village, I like to ask people whether they know. Um, proverbs. For example, I'll ask one guy, one man, do you, do you know a proverb of Aitadudu, of our of our tribe, Kabila Takbilt? Um, so, Metalan, for example, Nukni Dantini, we say Yat uh, Tabir, we say one proverb, get Aitadudu, Kutixi Tajil Sadarns, Kutixi Tajil Sadarns. So, Kutixi is every sheep, Tajil or Tagil. Depending on the pronunciation, in my region, um, G's a G becomes a J, becomes kind of a J. Um, but anyway, so ku tixi tagil means every sheep hangs. Sadarns sadarns means um, with his to with his feet. So in English, you would might say every sheep hangs by his own two feet. Um, the more figurative meaning is that like every person, so like on the sheep, every on the mountainside, every there's sheep, and all of them are able to to stand by themselves. So the the meaning is kind of like every person should be independent and self sufficient, and that you shouldn't rely on others. So in my opinion, it's a good Berber proverb of istik law of independence. Taber tisnat, the second proverb, matalen nukni dentini ulet kasarbi mush eradain, ulet kasarbi Mush eradain. So order to kes is like um, don't don't cut don't cut down. Arbi is God. Arbi um, Allah is Arabic, but in pure Tamazic do we say Arbi? Um, mush is cat and eradain is mice. So t the sentence would be something like um, God, please don't cut down the mice for the cat. So it's like um, keep. Keep the mice for the cat. That's like the kind of more general meaning. So this is kind of a weird proverb, but it's kind of um, an ode to authority. So mush, the cat, is kind of like lemachazin, like government, or like the father figure. And erdain is like midden, um, or like children. For example, children might be having a conversation, but then when the father comes into the room for dinner, all the children quiet down. Or, for example, there was like a protest, but then when the police come with their uh, battalions, people tend to calm down. So that's kind of like the the meaning of that proverb. Nukti dentini gilakhir tafed wayed. Gilakhir tafed wayed. Tafed wayed. So it's like gilakhir is like do good, do good things. Tafed is like in order to find. Wayed is like another. So it's kind of like. Uh, do good to find good, or if you do, um, if you do good things, good things will return, or you will find good things. Uh, uh, but there's also another proverb: "Igla ajar tisanini, igla ajar tisanani." So you can say "Gla khir tafedwayad walani igla ajar tisanani." So "igla ajar" is um, "ig" means "is." It's short for "iga," "iga." So "ig." La ajar, la ajar is like karma, and tisananin is like, um, like thorns. So it's kind of like, so you can say like, do good things to receive good things. It's good, 
or in other words, it's beneficial or good to treat people well. However, it's it's also difficult. That's kind of the meaning. Karma is difficult. Like um, when you do good things, there can be unintended consequences. There can be thorns. Nukni dentini siksu udmins sud aruns. Siksu udmins sud aruns. So siksu is look. Udmins is his face. So look at his face. And sud is like drink. Aruns. 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 It's like look at his face and drink his buttermilk. That's the literal meaning. So this proverb is kind of like the opposite of don't judge a book by its cover. It's saying that when you meet a person, you should judge him by his appearance, by his face, and only then, if you approve, you should drink his buttermilk. Nukni dantini ut lahdid mahid isu ihma. Ut lahdid mahid isu ihma. So ut is hit, lahdid is iron, mahid while Isul is it's still, and ihma is hot. In Arabic we say sakhun, but in, in Tamazic, in, in Berber we say ihma. So it's um, strike the iron while it's still hot. Nukni dentini aina ika tizgnit ikt ifilu. So aina ika tizgnit is like wherever wherever the needle tizgnit goes. Ikt ifilu. So it's like wherever the needle goes, the thread also goes. So do does wherever the needle goes, so does the thread. So <clears throat> we use this proverb, like for example, if you see a boy, a, a son smoking because the father smoked. So it's kind of like, like father, like son. My children are likely to follow in the footsteps of their parents. Nukni dentini wiyadi or igadi. Igadi itaren yuf izam imutin. Igadi itaren yuf izam imutin. Igadi itaren is a barking barking dog. Yuf is better than. Izam is a lion, but imutin, imutin is dead. So it's a barking dog is better than a barking dog is better than a dead lion. That's the literal meaning. The figurative meaning is like um in, in Berber, um Arba Ams Arba Amzan, um Mujtahid, Yuf Lumidir Akatar, Wadakin Kasul. So it's like a small boy who's hard working, Mujtahid is better than um like a big principal but who's lazy. So, like, figuratively, igadi itarin is like someone small in stature, but, but mujtahid. Um, and then, like, um, izamimutin, a dead lion, is kind of like someone um, high in stature or rank, but it's kind of, he's worthless, imutin. So he's just really lazy. So, this is a proverb I like a lot, igadi itarin yuf izamimutin. And... Um, so the last proverb that I can think of, um, we say "Ehlawawal, ehlawawal, walani yuf ifsti." Ehlawawal, walani yuf ifsti. So "Ehla" is like good. "Wawal" uh, is like speech or talking. "Walani" um, is but yuf ifsti. So ifsti is silence. So it's like talking is good, um, but silence is better. Oh, and then there's also another proverb I learned. You say, we say, "Nukni dentini mishig wawal nakort ifsti zidheb." Mishig wawal nakort ifsti zidheb. So it's like mish. So if ig um, wawal mishig wawal nakort. So it's like if if talking is silver nakort ifsti zidheb. Um, silence is from gold. So it's kind of like. If talking is silver, silence is golden. So yeah, I think that's good for now. Um, hopefully you enjoyed them. So yeah, la'anikum. Goodbye. Ardman bad. Ilay liqa, inshallah. Until later, we, uh, I'll see you later. Uh, God willing, inshallah.